everyone. This is Joe Drums coming to you. Hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing awesome. I brought out the Ringo kit. I am really excited about what's happening this coming Sunday, February 9th. Uh, it's actually the 50 years that the Beatles were on the Ed Sullivan Show, so I'm looking forward to that on TV coming up this Sunday. So don't forget to check your local listings and look when that's going to be on so you can uh, see what it was like to actually view the Beatles for the very first time back 50 years ago, what it was like to watch them on TV for the very first time. Uh, I wasn't born then, so you know I was actually born a year later, uh, which kind of interesting, my birthday being on uh, August 29th, 1965. That was actually one of the last days that the Beatles were playing live. So I've got a lot of great information that I'm going to be uh, setting up here in the next four videos. I'm going to make this part one of a four-part series. And uh, I'm going to be talking about like the drum set here that I have, the cymbals, uh, any drum heads, anything like that. If you guys have questions about that, you know, feel free to uh, let me know what you got questions about. Um, I also bought the, uh, recently I bought the Beatles uh, American Release CD box set. And I'm going to do an unboxing of that in this video as well. So stay, you know, check this out. Uh, stay tuned for that coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a couple of Beatles songs today. And so I urge you to check those out. Again, this is pretty much close to the record. Um, I wasn't really, you know, going to pick out everything note per note. But uh, you get the gist of it if you can watch this. Again, sorry, I'm not going to be able to play it with the original song for copyright reasons. Unfortunately, that's the way YouTube is. Uh, they're really sticklers about that. But anyway, you get to see the, uh, the drum set and hear the parts that uh, Ringo played on some of those songs. So we're going to do the songs first, and then we're going to do the unboxing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Beatles. Here we go.
Okay, so here we go. We're going to open up the American Release box set of the Beatles. And the reason why I got this is because I have the other two sets of the uh, the white mono box set. And then the black box set is the stereo releases. But for the American releases, they ended up uh, having different album lineups, different songs on different albums. So it is kind of nice if you're a big Beatle fan like I am uh, to kind of have all three uh, box sets. And in this one here, there's a lot of neat little uh, special edition album covers and I thought it would be really cool to uh, collect these as well so if you're a collector of music like I am uh, definitely the Beatles being one of my favorite groups of all time I definitely love having uh, all three sets and uh, so let's start with the uh, the first one as you can see it's called meet the Beatles I'll pull that out here we go I'm really picky about my albums and my CDs. Um, just checking the uh, foil here, making sure everything's good. And you can see there's the front and the back. I'll set it down. There's the Beatles second album. Again, different uh, artwork, which is really nice. And here we have Hard Day's Night, The Beatles. Uh, definitely a different album cover uh, than the uh, British release. I'm going to put those over there. Here's their fourth album, Something New, The Beatles. Now here's one that's not in the other two box sets, the white or the black. It's The Beatles Story. Basically it's a narration um, with some of the Beatles uh, playing some of the songs, uh, live stuff, some studio stuff. And we have the the Beatles '65 album. Then after that was the early Beatles. And again, these are all released on Capitol Records. Originally, the British releases were released on the uh, EMI. There's Beatles 6. And after that was the Help album. Again, this uh, CD has a different start off of uh, the original song, Help, where the original one just goes right into the song. This one has like a classical piece before it, kind of like a James Bond theme. Now here's an interesting one. This is called Beatles, The Beatles Yesterday and Today. Now that was the album cover after they had a different front cover. John Lennon wanted this album cover to go on, but people thought it was very tasteless and they didn't like it. And voila. Yeah, they just it was meat on their, you know, legs and stuff with babies' heads and body parts of dolls. And it just looked kind of, you know, graphic, too graphic for kids to, you know, to uh, view. So they ended up giving everybody a sticker, and you were supposed to put it on your album, the sticker. And, of course, they, they put it in this CD release with the sticker and everything. Of course, I'm not going to put it on there. I'm just going to leave it and keep it all pristine. Now, of course, the uh, Revolver album, that's pretty pretty much like the other British release and then the Beatles last album there then it comes with a real nice booklet of uh, awesome pictures stuff that I've never seen um, very cool there's the box uh, some advertisement for some of the other box sets and uh, let's take a look at the book mm -hmm. 